Morning, walking, fun time, words, Scott trade, yeah. Thoughts from places. Breakfast at one of those places that gets their goat cheese straight from the effing farm. Uh, yeah, that, that works. I have to admit though, the food was really good. This was a bacon jam crepe with cheese. Delicious. Painted building messes with your brain. And your balance. Hey look, it's the St. Louis Arch. Oh! Underground seems to be a very big thing in St. Louis, as here's another underground complex. We got some tickets to wait in line to get into this space agey capsule thing. It then proceeded to take us into a giant silver half of the McDonald Arch. It was also a fantastic vantage point where I could test out my camera's zoom feature. Yo bro, I heard you like vertigo, so I put some vertigo on your vertigo so you can vertigo while you vertigo. Got it? Being up in the arch made me realize that more than just being some tourist destination, St. Louis is a place where people live and people work at AT&T buildings and whatever that one is. Recently, a singing group from California came to visit my school. When asked what it was they missed most, their answer was diversity. This is clearly not an issue in St. Louis. This is the capsule we rode up and back down. It's all space agey looking and has roller treads so that it always stays sitting straight up. It even has blueness on the inside. It also comes with its own space agey advertisements. And a space agey... Oh, wait, that's my dad. There's a mercantile as well, which is stocked with all sorts of fancy pens that I can't get because I didn't bring money on the trip, but they're all nice and give me pen envy. We then went into a theater where we watched them build the arch, which apparently went off perfectly. Yeah, this guy hasn't crossed the Uncanny Valley. No, just no. This guy, however, has. Unless, of course, he's real. Fun in decision time! Yay! We decided on a place that uses arc reactors for the lighting. Bus stop. I suppose I should say trolley stop, because we took the trolley to our next destination. The old courthouse, where we learned that this guy is a wealthy barber. You can tell by his style. We also got to look at some of the historical artifacts from old St. Louis, as well as some medical equipment. Like leeches. Hey look, a monster chest of monsters! This is the courtroom that the Dred Scott case was first fought in. It was kind of humbling knowing that something amazing in history had happened right in this spot. Spotlight? Speaker system? Dred Scott the Musical? As we were walking, I realized that all of the numbers here in St. Louis start with 314, which means that some mathematician somewhere is missing the opportunity to get the phone number of Pi. As a matter of fact, there are a lot of missed opportunities here in St. Louis. A lot of buildings that are never going to fulfill their purpose, never going to live to be whatever it is that they were designed for. Eventually they may be demolished, but that's not what their purpose was initially. Many of the buildings here in St. Louis look, quote quote, sad and depressed. Signs covered in stale hot glue where someone hastily covered them up and hastily took them down, their ideas never coming to fruition. After we waited, however, our trolley did come to fruition, and we stopped where we could walk back to our hotel, where I proceeded to be sick, keeping me from doing anything productive for the rest of the day. I did get better the next day, though, and record quite a bit of footage. Click anywhere on the screen to go to that. Ted, I'll see you sometime soon. Nerd out.